At lunch today, a couple of you mentioned my early emails that I sent out on, uh, on January 5th. It was my first official day on the job. And my first bit of correspondence was, in fact, to the presidents, the President Carvari and the 14 other UT presidents, pledging my support to help them achieve their goals. Because if I have learned anything in the military, it was that great things are accomplished when you give great leaders an opportunity to do their job without a lot of interference. And so I pledged to each of them that the UT system would do everything possible to support and advance their institutions and where necessary to stay out of their business. I told the presidents I would work with them in establishing high standards. I would give them clear guidance. I would let them do their jobs and I would fully support them in their efforts. However, I also told them that everything I did and everything that we did as individuals and as institutions must be moral, legal, and ethical. Nothing, absolutely nothing, is more important than our integrity as leaders. Without it, we are dead in the water. With it, and with the goodwill and support of great folks like you, there isn't anything we can't do. I want our students, all UT institutions, not only the Mavericks here at UT Arlington, to challenge conventional wisdom. I told the presidents that I want the faculty to come to work every day, eager and a little anxious about being challenged by the students. And I want the students to come to class every day excited about learning and ready to challenge the professor. I don't want anyone to accept existing theories or trends. We must be relentless in our pursuit of new ideas. I was a talented faculty and a dedicated staff. Let me add my welcome to that of Frank Alexander and Chancellor McRaven to this meeting, and especially to the University of Texas at Arlington. It's a tremendous honor for us to host the 2015 Chancellor's Council Executive Committee Winter Business Meeting. In this room, we are fortunate to have not just strong supporters of the UT system and its most generous donors, but people invested in the community who connect their passion with action. <coughs> People who see potential in the future, and people who clearly recognize the ability of individuals to impact our community and thereby shape society. You are transforming the promise of an education into reality through your faith in us and in the future we all share. Thank you for believing in our students, for in doing so, you are truly investing in the, fu in the future socioeconomic prosperity of the great state of Texas. Just yesterday, I was provided an update on our enrollment, which as Frank announced, stands a little higher than 47,000. I must confess, we do something a little differently. Rather than starting just two times a year, we start eight times a year for some of our students, so that those students who are busy at work have the flexibility to start their education when they need it, not just when we want to offer it.